are you, Laura? I am good, how are you? Thank you very much for having us here. We're uh, outside uh, West, Westlake Village, right? Yep. And um, so we're, oh, you're checking us on us? Oh, they only took our number, okay, we're cool. <laughs> we're not stealing it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm with the chief engineer, so if you steal it, it's no problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So let's go for a little drive and talk about the 2019 pilot, which uh, this generation came out just when, like three years ago, isn't that? It came out in 2016, about three years ago. Yes. Yeah, so That's we did a big uh, refresh here in 2019 with a lot of new features, new exterior styling, and enhancements in our crash safety package. Yeah. And? His channels, we've got the five. volume. Oh, he's and back. A volume knob. <laughs> how, many, how many complaints did you get about that? <laughs> the volume knob is back. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's back for a reason, believe me. I mean, a lot of people were talking about that, and uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's like one of those things that I guess sometimes I don't know, manufacturers try to get ahead of technology or like trends, but uh, it's a very convenient. Thing and uh, although, although the other, I talked to some of the owners, and they get used to do it here on the wheel. Uh, after a while, but not everybody. Yeah, so, we do still have controls yeah. on the wheel, but we've added the volume knob in the center. Excellent. Okay, tell us about that because the screen, all the screen is new too, right? Sure. So we have a new infotainment system for the 2019 model year. Interacts with the meter as well as with the steering wheel. You've got a lot of terrific apps on the new infotainment system. You've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, it's very easy to use. Let's see, you put it on the home screen here. So there's lots of apps that you can plug in, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So for example, you go to AM Radio, uh, Rear Entertainment, you just hit the button. So you go to Rear Entertainment, very simple, plug in, stream videos if you would like. Uh, navigation, a new feature we have is called Cabin Talk, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, when your kids are sitting in the back with headphones on, listening to their entertainment, uh, you hit the Cabin Talk and you talk through the speaker and they can hear you through the headphones. It's a very, very popular feature that we introduced on the Odyssey. Now, a terrific feature we introduced for 2019 is the wireless charging. So it's this simple. You take your phone, you set it in here, and it starts charging. No wires or anything keeps everything much cleaner and all that. And these uh, controls from the transmission also allow to, to free up a lot of space, right? It does, it does. So you have a lot of space. We, have, we, we concentrated on making a very active, family-friendly vehicle with a lot of space in this area. You've got uh, rear entertainment, uh, AT&T hotspot. Which I tried already and worked perfectly. Good, by good, the way. Good. Uh, what else, I'm sorry? Yeah, so we also have a new feature called Cabin Talk. Uh, so you hit this app and what you're able to do is speak through the speakers of the vehicle and you can talk to your kids who've got all their the headphones on there. all the way back in the third row. That's inherited from the Odyssey, I believe, right? Uh, there is uh, a similar package on the Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so what else do we have new here in 2019? Well, uh, on the outside, the front of the vehicle is 100% new. So the vehicle is extremely capable with our intelligent VTM4 system. And we wanted to update the styling to make sure that the exterior of the vehicle looked as capable as the vehicle performs. So you're going to see a very sporty looking front end with skid garnishes on the front and the rear. Uh, we've got new headlights with uh, jewel inline headlights. Okay. Very sporty looking. And then on the inside, in addition to this new uh, infotainment system, steering wheel and meter, We've brought a lot of features down that are typically only on premium level. So for example, on an EX trim level, you can get heated seats, you can get turn signals in your mirrors, uh, you've got power up down mirrors, and you've got cross traffic in your DA system. And uh, the Honda Sensing uh, package is already included in all the trims or? Honda Sensing is now included, no additional cost in every single trim level. That's an amazing, uh thing to, to do because tell us a little bit about I mean I know a lot about it but maybe our audience doesn't like what does Honda Sensing do to sure the so there's several components for example you've got uh, cross traffic in the rear so if you're trying to back out your vehicle it will warn you if a vehicle is coming by coming by you've got lane keep assist so if you start to drift out of your lane it will give you uh, some like this. yeah yep 
it'll help guide you back into the middle of your uh, lane. It's adaptive cruise control where you can set your cruise and then if you come up against a vehicle in front of you, it will actually adjust your speed without you putting your foot on uh, the brake. You've got collision avoidance where if you get too close to a car, it will warn you. And then it also has crash mitigation braking, meaning if you get too close to a vehicle and you're going to get into a collision, the brakes will come on and stop. So with that, with that, the Honda sensing, all the new navigation, all the new screens and all that, you still are below the price in the competition. With this segment, it's really competitive. I mean, there are like so many different models from other manufacturers, but you're still like in the very top or actually in the very bottom price-wise, right? Right, we are actually very value priced. Um, and we added the Honda sensing package to every single trim level and a significant number of them didn't even adjust in price since the 2018 model. Yeah. Uh, powertrain remains the same? Powertrain remains the same. And in the interior, are there any other changes? Like the seats are, are new or, or improved too? Yeah, so the interior, we have added in the second row on the Elite version, there are captain's chairs. So instead of a bench, you have two chairs in the second row. And that was so popular that on the 2019 model, we brought that down to touring level. So you can also get that on the touring level as well as Elite. We've also added a very popular hands-free access for the tailgate, so you can step behind your vehicle, uh, kick underneath it, and the tailgate will open without having to touch it. Here at the base camp that, that you guys set up there, there's an off-road uh, trail that you actually built for this, right? Yes. And we went through the whole uh, course, and this car can do a pretty amazing thing, considering <laughs> this, like, I mean, it's an SUV, but most people would even think that it can do that kind of thing. Yeah, so we developed that uh, off-road course specifically for that purpose. We wanted to demonstrate the capability of the intelligent VTM4 system, which is constantly varying your torque while you're on the road in both um, fair weather condition, as well as foul weather condition, as well as off-road condition. It's always adjusting the torque to make sure you're getting the optimal driving performance. We also have a very rigid body so as you know, when you went on the off-road course, yeah. we had an obstacle where you had three wheels on the ground and the fourth one was completely off. Mm -hmm. And there was very little twist, if any. It felt like you were uh, riding on a steel plate. There was very little twist in the body. It's very impressive. And also you have different modes, which are normal, snow, mud, and sand. I mean, we're in California in August, so there's no snow. But, <laughs> or mud, because it's so dry yeah. that even if you throw water into it, it gets dry very quickly. But the sand uh, mode was really impressive. Uh, we got through the sand trap and went through like nothing with it. Yep, so we made the system very simple. Even if you know very little about cars, it's simple. You're in sand, you hit the sand mode. You're in mud, you hit the mud mode. No additional thought required. And you can do it on the fly while moving, not like other systems that you have to stop and put in neutral and all that. It's just like, right. like that. Right. And also, it has a sports mode. It does. And what does that improve? The sports mode, will adjust your transmission logic it will also adjust your steering and it will adjust your braking feel so you get a much sportier feel on the vehicle if that's what uh, you're looking for in your driving we were f we were driving up here to the base camp and we had a four mustang and a miata in front of us and they were slowing us oh. <laughs> I mean, the two cars that you would think that go much faster i was like come on guys let's let's get moving it and we can go faster That's with that were you in with sport mode but i was in sport mode i was trying yeah. using the battle yeah. shifters i was like, like nice. i mean this car <laughs> i mean it's a it's a big vehicle but it can move really not completely aggressively but we were pushing the mustang and the miata so i think that's a good uh good, good. A good thing uh, uh that's a for great this story. taste drive yeah <laughs> well we're gonna go back to base camp but uh thank you very much for the information very thank impressive you. and um so you finish with this one but you never finish they keep improving it all the time right we're always looking at ways to expand our light truck lineup excellent thank you very much lara thank you <laughs>